Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I'm just going to expand on my last tutorial which was about abilities and character sheets. Now we're going to look over the slightly more complex macros. Alright, so basically a macro is almost the same thing as an ability. It just can get, it can do more. Um, so to start off, we go to the settings tab right over here and just click add on macros. Now for reference, I'm also going to open up a character sheet. Now as you've noticed, uh, World 20 rolled out an update and they changed everything around and made things a little bit more, um, made things flow a little bit better. So here I've added some more stuff. Um, this is going to be a macro for basically a fourth edition type of uh, character although I will need to add I think proficiency for this so let me add an ability real quick or an attribute um, proficient let's do a bastard sword I haven't played 4th edition in a while, but I, I believe you have proficiencies. I think the proficiency for Bastard Sword is uh, plus 3. I should have done this earlier, I know, but uh, that way I could have been sure I looked it up. Um, yeah, I think it's 3. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to save changes to that. I'm going to open up my character sheet again. Alright, so now let's do... Let's name this attack. Let's say it's one of the 4th edition powers. Um, we'll say... Oh... Let's call it... I don't know. Um, slash of Justice or some shit like that. Slash of Justice. That's kind of corny, but whatever. Maybe the guy's paladin or something. I don't know. So, uh, something cool that you can do here is you can do slash me, and then you can type out basically either what your character will say or what he's going to do. You know, maybe I'll put quotation marks um, and say strike. Ooh, strike true and fast. Alright, we're just going to test that right now. Oops. You could also do something like that. Let me change it to this guy right here. Now we're going to see. See, now it says Hawk Pisanoa says strike true and fast. Well, as he swings forth his magical bastard sword towards the foe. That's a little it's a little lengthy, but it, it gets the job done. Alright, now for the attack. Do slash R space 1D20. Now Make sure you add the plus sign right here and then click the at symbol. So you can insert an attribute. Now, let's see, I believe we start off with do I not have the strength? Uh oh. I'm going to pause this real quick and I'll figure this out. Okay, I figured that out. For some reason, the variables from the characters do not like to show up if you first press an S. Um, I'll demonstrate this right now. So here I have slash R 1D20 plus Let's see, I'm pressing S. 
it doesn't like the first S in the name, basically. I don't know why. It just doesn't like it. Um, it might be, it's probably just a bug, or there's maybe some other explanation that I do not know about. So, but here's what we can do. STR has a T and an R in it. So, we're going to type out T. Um, I've, during my test, I re-labeled the STR abbreviation to just say strength. So, here we are. Strength right here. Alright. That's part one done. Let me get our character back out here. Alright, and we're just going to test that macro again. I like to be thorough sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. See, now we have 1d20 plus 4, which is our strength. Alright, what else goes in there for 4th edition? I believe it is half level. So, at... It doesn't really seem to like uh, the first letter of that either, so we're going to do A. And uh, yes, Manly Man. I renamed Strength Manly Man um, on a different character because I was just trying to test some stuff out. But the, the music is getting, it's, it's picking up because it realizes how awesome this is right now. Anyways, half level right here. I did not do not press the first uh, letter for that for some reason. It will not work. I do not know why that is. That's just the way it is right now. So I should say hit, hit A and it's right here. I can click that. And let me tone down this stuff a little bit more. Okay. So, now let's roll that again. In the meantime, yep, oh, plus four, plus four, very nice. Now what else goes in this? Weapon proficiency. Oops, I have to. Da, da, da. Oops. Okay, it's not really working. I'll just start typing out. Oh, come on. R, yeah. I typed out R and it brings it up, so that's good. There is this. Click on that. I'm pretty sure that's going to work, so I won't test it out. So we have a proficiency, but we also have a magic weapon right here, plus two. So we are going to do that again. Oh, yeah. It does not like those first uh, letters for some reason. Don't know why. But, magic weapon plus two. Am I missing something? Let's see. Strength is half level. Uh, proficiency. Um, and then magic weapon. One, two, three. I think that's it. If I'm missing anything, it's not a big deal. Of course, there's other things that you can add in there. All right, now I'm going to just say enter do slash r 1d20 and we're going to do oh not or not 1d20 but 1d10 let's make it 2d10 all right now we calculate our strength and da, da, da. strength so then we calculate what's next strength um, magic weapon. I know that's in there for sure. And is it is it half level for damage? I can't remember. This is terrible of me. It may or may not be. If it is, throw that in there. I'm not going to throw it in there. So, I, I don't believe it is anyways. Anyways, here we go. What was it going to do? Magic weapon. There we go make sure it says the name right here for it. Alright. And we are, now we are just going to save changes. 
make sure it's in the bar right here. And this is one way to roll it. All right, I rolled a two, but I still got a 15. All right, uh, and 16 damage if that would have hit. So here's something cool that they've added, or at least I think they added. It may have existed before this, and I just didn't know it. For your abilities, not your macros, but your abilities, press the percent sign, and then your abilities will pop up. And we're just going to do enter and then enter again to roll a will save. This way, you don't have to have all this cluttered up right here. Now for macros, just hit that and slash justice right there. Oh, nat 20. Look at that. Boom. All right. And that pretty much covers the macros. I hope this has been informative and uh, helpful for you. Also, once again, please check out my other videos if you are into watching people play D&D &D and stuff like that. Alright all, I'll be back with another tutorial shortly. In the meantime, have a wonderful day.